And I'm going to answer Ton's question first, or Tone. I think it's Ton. Why are FPV goggles so expensive? Like, you can get an Oculus for 200, 300 bucks or something. 1080, 90 hertz screens. Like, in every way, a VR goggle is a better headset than even the DJI goggles, which are pretty good freaking goggles. But, a, 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 like, the best, the best VR headset you can get is probably the Steam, uh, the Steam one, which is, what's the freaking name of it? And, um, it's like a thousand bucks and then there's budget ones in the 300 hundred dollar price range that spank a fat shark goggle larger screens higher resolution higher refresh rate the the big reason and i asked i actually asked greg french of fat shark this uh several years ago i actually went to shenzhen i went to the fat shark offices i actually made a vlog about it you can find it on my channel and i interviewed greg french from fat shark and asked him some of these questions and the short answer is that it has to do with volume. A, a, a fat shark goggle that is wildly popular will sell, I mean, I, I, I don't wanna sound like I know fat shark's numbers. Fat shark, I, don't, I try not to have that, num that information in my head because then I'll say something like this and I'll let it slip. But I would guess that it sells thousands May, to tens of thousands, but probably not. Like the entire FPV market based, you can estimate the FPV market based on like how many people downloaded Betaflight. And Betaflight downloads are in the single digit hundreds of thousands. So say 200 or 300,000 people have downloaded Betaflight. So based on that, obviously Betaflight is not the whole FPV market, but based on that, are there 10 million people in the world who fly FPV? Definitely not. Are there a million? Probably not. Are there a half a million? Maybe. So ask yourself then, how many goggles will Fat Shark sell when they release a new goggle and how fast will they sell them? How many, how many screens are they gonna order from Sony or Copen when they place an order? You go to Sony and you say, can I have a thousand screens? Sony, to, you won't even take your call for a thousand screens. And in fact, he talked about one of the things they struggled with, with I think it was the HDO2, where they switched from Copen modules to Sony modules, just trying to find someone who would talk to them and sell them Sony screens. Um, so one of the reasons it's expensive is just there is much less margin um, the margin is the same, but the, the cost is so much higher. That's part of it. Whereas when you sell an Oculus, you sell millions of them, potentially. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that some of these, like when you buy an Oculus, you also are buy, you're buying into the Oculus ecosystem. So um, they make money from the Oculus store, right? So just like when you buy a PlayStation or an Xbox, they're not charging you they're not trying to make money on the on the console. They're trying to make money on the games. I don't know this for a fact, but I believe that some of that is also going on with VR headsets. They're subsidized by the software. So that's why the goggles are so expensive. I honestly don't feel like VR like um, FPV goggles are overpriced because you look at a VR goggle and you go, it's cheaper and better, but you're not comparing apples to apples because of the because of the the volume. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for the question.